Moving on, a compilation of published literary works authored by Dr. Letitia Obing, first Ghanaian female scientist and president of the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences, has been launched in Accra. The book, titled The Anthology of a Lifetime, is a compelling story centered on subjects such as water, development, and the general management of the environment. Parasitology and Environmental Sustainability. 41% of the content of the 27 topic book is dedicated to issues on water and dams. Dr. Leticia Obin explained in pages 43 to 57 of her book the incidence of loss of livelihood, outbreak of diseases, loss of flora and fauna, and of aquatic life as some of the critical but often neglected aspects of dam construction. Making reference to the land water system of the country, the 94 year old author was worried about the massive takeover of the water lake by weeds and called for the development of an attitude that will protect the environment. The inland water system of Ghana and the sad condemnation of its huge Volta Lake, which has been accepted as the largest single man-made lake in world history, condemned to a massive takeover by weeds. This time I'm asking you, please give a thought to our environment and let's save our environment. Let's save the Ghana environment. Let's do something about the Volta Lake. It's a disgrace. Launching the book, the guest speaker of the event, Senior Minister Mr. Yao Safumafo, thanked the author for drawing government's attention to the underutilization of the Volta Lake. Through the work on the Volta Dam, the author has demonstrated how we can build our research at the national level in order to scale it up for a global effect. We must always get the best use of a situation like a dam. And if you read that book, you will notice that we have not put the dam to best use. We are not obtaining the maximum benefit as a country from the dam. Mr. Osafumafo bought the first four books auctioned at 10,000 cities. The Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Professor Fempon Boatin, who also chaired the event, bought the next three sets at 8,000 cities and requested for 55 copies for all cabinet ministers. In addition to books the author donated to her alma mater, the Achimota School, Dr. Joyce Ayi also added 10 copies for the school's library. Salome Tete, GBC News, Accra.